The, when I started, I was trying to lay a background of everything that happened. I'm going to hand over a file. Please, where is the Secretariat? Containing the reasons why we asked um, the Chairman to recuse himself. Then um, I'll go straight to the point about the different things. We've been accused of um, the scholarships. Um, we didn't give scholarships, but we've, we, we had the report that myself and uh, Dr. Cairo, that we paid ourselves scholarships. And the basic truth is that we were processing these scholarships for these students before the late EDFA died. And just as we were about to submit it, we had the, uh, accusations that our children were in the scholarship list. This had to be brought back and scrutinized. What basically happened is that like the universities invited the NDDC to visit for verification and for graduation. They gave the letters and Esther Code was prepared. The preparation of the Esther Code started before I got to NDDC. I only approved it and it was paid on the 16th of April. Because you cannot pay somebody a stack of the day the person is going to the airport. You have to get a visa procured. There is a long time. If the journey is not made, it is for us to, to return it. But somebody will come here and come and say, uh, Cairo paid millions to his account for foreign scholarship. Please, we need to debunk that. Right now, as we speak, the scholarship payments is being processed. And this week, we will clear the scholarships from 2016. Um, the forensic audits, we've been accused of every type of thing. The forensic audit is ongoing. And uh, I will not go into that. The NDDC does not have control over the forensic audits. Our job is to provide the enabling environment and provide the requisite documents and whatever they need. Somebody here said the headquarters building is uh, um, so, uh, 74 or whatever. Please, uh, I will have put this on the slide to show you the pictures of where the state is now. Myself and Dr. Cairo, we occupy the 12th floor. That's where we walk from. Okay, then